probably the most likely. They're around <laughs> us. And probable. They're around oh, us. No I'm one's taking you. credit for it, though. That's what's a little bizarre about this. <laughs> it's just I actually heard from one of our weather watchers on Twitter yesterday. I was looking things up on the U.S. Geological Survey, too. Yeah, no earthquake. Interesting stuff, though. So I'm curious. I wonder what's going to come back about that. Ooh. Well, hey, is that tis the season. Right yeah, <laughs> that's Jim's ghost impression, I believe. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look out on StormScan 3, where our latest system still trying to make its full departure. With a wraparound moisture with that, you may end up with a sprinkle, uh, a shower. I don't think you need the umbrella today, but just a heads up there. Primarily cloudy skies and a noticeable breeze out of the northwest. However, I show you the wide zoom for a reason. Yeah, that's snow falling across the Canadian border. I don't expect snow here, but this is the trough, at least the beginnings of it, that's going to dig in across a good chunk of the U.S. and eventually bring our next round of very, very soaking rain. So we look ahead to the weekend, even as early as tomorrow. Uh, the skies are really brightening up nicely. High pressure very briefly taking control for a two-day stretch. Saturday looks just awesome. We rebound back to the 70s. The sun shines. Make the most of it because you see what's looming here. Not only is this a potent frontal passage, but we're also going to draw in tropical moisture, whether it's a named system or not, which I doubt. It's still going to have ample moisture to draw upon and we will get drenched throughout the day on Sunday and there may even be a leftover shower on Monday in its wake but Sunday really is the next big thing with that rain moving in and there could even be several inches of rain before it is all said and done. Now it does turn a lot cooler behind the front but again as we mentioned it's not only bright and sunny on Saturday, it's also warm, and you'll see that reflected here in the seven day. But here's the bullet point moving in Saturday night, drenching rain on Sunday, and the rain amounts several inches worth. You'll also have some pretty decent wind gusts whipping things around, too. Looking forward, Halloween now on the seven day, and at this point, it looks very seasonable low 60s, some sunshine, a pretty quiet day, all in all, for your little ghosts and goblins to trick or treat with.